After a frustrating first time out on the boat, took it out twice yesterday, I had engine problems and I figured it was user error and um, brought it home, watched some videos and I think I finally figured out why it wouldn't start. So one, I mean, I, I still don't know why it starts, but at least I understand um, what all this stuff does. So first off, this little guy right here says pull to prime and then you can adjust the arms I don't know if you can see, watch this arm right here. It moves up and down. So this right here adjusts how much prime it has. So what I didn't realize is that this arm right here is pushing down on this little mechanism right here to prime it. And so now that I understand that mechanism a little bit more, I understand it says, you know, with with this guy, with slow, start, fast, and all other good stuff. I know it's pretty self-explanatory, but I had to see it to understand it mechanically. So I turned this thing all the way to the right that puts this arm in a more downward position and then when I pull this arm you see how the arm moves up this arm right here moves up and down so when I pull this arm up and down it pushes down on this prime button and so I think the carburetor was not getting enough fuel when I was trying to start it and the way I determined that was I put some fuel in a old bottle that I had and I shot fuel directly into the carburetor you can see it here so I noticed that when I was spraying fuel directly in the carburetor, it would run and then just kind of troubleshooted um, around that. And I was able to finally get the boat engine to idle, throttle up, understand a little bit about the throttle mechanism now. So super excited about that. Um, this is the way I tested it. Just got the house trash can bucket, filled it up with water, setting up on some old wheels, made sure it stayed cool. But overall, the uh, engine doesn't look bad. Looks. I also determined that the engine was made in 1998, and I saw that there. Other big accomplishments that I got done yesterday was, um, you know, when I was at the boat dock, when I first launched the boat, I didn't have a locking mechanism for my trailer. I couldn't get this stupid thing on, and um, I got my brother to, to help me put it on there I didn't realize you didn't have to turn the key that much so arrow figured out how to put the lock in there when I was at the boat dock early in the morning I could not figure it out and so I was a little worried that my trailer might get taken another thing that I done um, yesterday afternoon is when we picked up the trailer I had a two inch hitch with a two inch ball and um, that two inch ball was too big for this trailer and only had one seven eighth ball to get around it, I took the ball off my two inch hitch and installed the one seven eighths ball. So I went and bought the correct hitch and ball and uh, I didn't want to replace all this stuff all by myself. And so once Arrow got up and moving and we got the boat up in the driveway a little bit more, uh, I switched out the ball, so, or the hitch. But yeah, got locked, got the right hitch and ball. The engine starts right now. So that's good. Hopefully it starts when we're out at the uh, the lake next time we take it out. It was super frustrating. You know, trying to yank on this engine can never get it to start. I did have a few people ask me if I needed help or I needed a tow. And so boating community uh, seems to be pretty nice to me so far. Um, again, here's just another look at the boat. If there's a different angle, you didn't see it. Man, look at that hair. I am in due for a haircut. Switch panel. So yeah, again, took out the boat the other day, early in the morning, and then later that afternoon, fished out of it, didn't have any luck. Um, now that we got the motor going, I'm hoping to get a little bit farther up the lake. Maybe we'll have some better success. So great way to start off the morning here. Hope it still runs when I'm out of the lake. Thanks for watching.